This is, is the Zeiss Cirrus OCT 400. Uh, this machine will scan the back of the eyes. We'll look at the patient's optic nerves and their retinas. To add a new patient, we'll go to Add New Patient tab here. We'll type in their last name, first name, date of birth, and ID. If they've been here before, we can go to Find Existing Patient. I'm going to just search for a test patient. And once you find the patient, you'll click on their name and then hit acquire down below. When scanning an OCTR, we'll be clicking on the macular cube 512 by 128. And for an OCTG, we'll be clicking on the optic disc cube 200 by 200. So we'll do an OCTR to start. So I'll click on the macular cube. I'm going to raise this up for the patient. So just come to the left chin rest first, and then forehead goes all the way forward. And we're going to see an image of her eye on the screen here. So if you click on the pupil, it'll actually bring her where she needs to be. And then these buttons here will move the patient in and out. So I want to bring her in more. And once she's in there, we'll get this scan here and a picture of her fundus on the left-hand side. And what you want is you want all these scans to be in the middle on all four screens. And then we'll have the patient blink, and then just keep your eyes open, and then we'll hit capture. And you can sit back. So it tells you the strength up here. It should be about six to seven, if you can get them. Patients who have cataracts or any other pathology might have a lower signal strength. But as long as the fundus image looks good and you have a good scan in each, each box, you're pretty good. So we're gonna hit save. If it's not good, we'll hit try again. So we'll save this one. And then we'll do the OCTG for her left eye. So we're gonna click the optic disc cube 200 by 200 for left. And now come to the right side here. So the machine will move now to her left eye. We're gonna find her pupil again. And we'll bring her close to the machine. And she'll be looking at a green star. For the OCTR, it'll be straight into the machine. For the OCTG, the disc cube, it'll be off to the side. So I want you to look at that star now. And then on the fundus here, you'll see her optic disc. So you want to move this circle over her nerve. And then once all these scans look clear, we're going to have her blink. And then keep your eyes open now. And then we'll hit capture. Good, so the fundus looks clear. We have all of our images scans here. And we'll hit save. And then once we're done, we'll hit finish down below. And then to save, we'll go to Analyze. And then from there, you can click on whatever test you did. And then you can either print them or upload them to the, the digital images drive.